Hey YouTube, uh, in this video I'm going to uh, test for boost leak in my 997 Turbo. Uh, I made a homemade uh, tester using a PVC pipe as you can see there uh, from uh, parts from Home Depot. And it's very inexpensive uh, and it's pretty, uh, pretty simple to put together. I uh, followed the instruction from uh, forum member The Rock. Uh, I'll attach the link below. So I got the car raced up on uh, quick jack. Uh, so I'm gonna disconnect the uh, two intercooler tur turbo hoses on the bottom and uh, attach one on each end and, and, and put about 20 uh, PSI using my air compressor. So uh, here we go. So I'm going to disconnect this uh, hose coming from the uh, turbo and uh, from the turbo to the intercooler. I'm going to disconnect it on that end. There's a, a clamp, warm clamp here. And do the same on the other side. And uh, put one on each end. One, one end, I have a gauge to, to look at the pressure. You don't really need the gauge, but it is helpful. You could just cap it. And then the other end, I have a fitting so I can attach it to the air compressor and uh, pressurize it to uh, probably around 20 psi you don't want to go too high uh, or else you, saw, you might be, uh, something might pop, pop off and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that So you want to make sure it's tight so this doesn't come flying out and uh, be careful. Definitely don't want your face uh, near this thing when, in case it pops off because this could slip. So that's what, but I am making, making it as tight as, making it tight enough so to avoid that. That's good. Okay, so I got the air compressor. Uh, I have this uh, pressure regulator. I am going to reduce it right now. It's uh, it's way too high, so I'm going to start probably uh, less than 10 psi and work my way up. So yeah, we'll start with close to zero, and then uh, before I attach the hose have an extension and then uh, let me go ahead and attach it okay I hear uh, some air leaking already uh, where's it coming from okay And I actually did this uh, before, so, and, and uh, as you could kind of hear, there's air. Even though this hose is disconnected from the turbo, the intake is pressurized and there's air leaking out of the turbo, uh, what do you call this, uh, compressor uh, inlet or outlet. And, uh, and I'm suspecting it's the BRV uh, bypass recirculating valve. The diaphragm, I, I'm thinking, is leaking. I'm gonna put a little more air, and then you can clearly hear the air escaping. Because, uh, as you can see, the compressor, uh, I had it regulated to very low, low pressure. So I'm gonna turn it up. So, regulated later, is reading 15 to 20 psi, and as you can see here, it's coming out of here. And I uh, disconnected the vacuum line to the BRV valve. 
and that's uh, it's supposed to work by vacuum but uh, when you pressurize it the air my understanding is the the air uh, goes to the valve and the, the valve is should be shut but uh, it's not on the driver side the passenger side is fine but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this apart the, the BRV valve and uh, take a look and check the, the rubber diaphragm I'm thinking there's a there's a rip uh, and and uh, BRV valve is a lot like a blow-off valve except it instead of uh, uh, leaking it out to the atmosphere and making a lot of noise it just recirculates it so it's a lot quieter and it's uh, uh, built into the uh, turbo I'm gonna also look at the gauge on the uh, Passenger side. I'm I'm pretty sure we're not building much pressure because it's leaking. Yeah, it's it's reading maybe just uh, five psi or so. So to get to the driver side, the uh, valve VRV valve, it's easier to take the wheel off. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, next, uh, the valve is right behind this uh, fender uh, lining, so I'm going to remove this uh, T25 screw to get uh, better access, of course. So you can kind of see, yeah, the vacuum line is uh, right here. This guy here. I put a little zip tie also to, make sh to help uh, prevent it from uh, slipping off. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the uh, rear wheel cover, as you can see, it's just five screws, so, and so uh, easier to get it out the way. So uh, uh, now I have uh, easy access, as you can see, it's uh, this, this part right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, the three screw, looks like some Allen screw, and then uh, take it apart and inspect it. And uh, I already ordered a part, uh, I believe, uh, Porsche doesn't sell a replacement part but uh, by itself but uh, I was able to uh, get the part for that's made for the turbocharger Borg Warner uh, so uh, so that's good okay I got the three uh, Allen screw removed and there is a spring tension so here it goes uh, It looks uh, looks okay okay so it did look okay but a uh, closer inspection I do see or uh, a little tear there as you can see right there so that's uh, that's why it was leaking so I'm going to replace this I'm also going to do the uh, passenger side uh, just as a precaution uh, these rubber parts uh, I'm sure after a while they uh, oops look at that it's uh it's worse than I thought. There you go. And uh there's the new part, like I mentioned from uh Borg Warner. Uh, I got this on eBay. Uh they run about 80 bucks this and it comes with this uh, cover option which I'm not using. I'm gonna also I'm gonna go ahead and lubric lubricate it as well. I have some silicone, uh, lubric, uh, silicone, silicone grease. Okay, so on the left is the uh, the new part. On the right is the old one. The uh, I noticed the spring on the original or on the old one is a little, it's a little bit stiffer. So I'm gonna reuse that and uh, the, the screws that it come with is, is a different type also so I'll reuse the original and just put additional uh, blue thread locker also notice the ny nylon housing I guess this is made out of nylon or plastic it's uh, designs a little different as you can see there's a little uh, cut out here on the uh, replacement the original doesn't have it so I may uh, I may decide to uh, 
use the old one uh, and uh, instead of the uh, replacement but uh, let me figure that out and uh, decide also notice there's some blue marking as you could see on the end of the spring and on this tip so not sure if it matters which orientation looking at the spring uh, I don't, it doesn't seem so, but I'm going ahead and orient it where it, this blue paint goes on this side. So I'm gonna apply uh, some of the silicone paste. Uh, got this from Amazon. Uh, I remember uh, seeing this in one of uh, Eric the Car Guy video. Uh, this is usually it's safe for rub rubber parts and uh, usually used for uh, the rubber. Uh, brake uh, assembly. Okay, I decided to uh, use the original uh, plastic or nylon uh, part. Uh, as you can see, my uh, mine doesn't have, doesn't need a cut, cut out or, or doesn't have a cut out on the turbo housing. And uh, I just want to also point out having an offset wobble uh, Allen wrench is, uh, is very helpful because this pipe is in the way. Okay, I got it reassembled, so I'm going to uh, do another uh, boost test and uh, and uh, see uh, if I could build up pressure and see how long it holds and see if there's a, uh, if I can hear a large uh, air leak. Okay, so I, I uh, have it up to about 20 psi and uh, so far so good. I don't hear it uh, leaking out of this uh, as it did earlier coming from here. So now this is sealed so I'm gonna well, listen for uh, other uh, air leaks on top of the uh, I don't hear anything coming out of the white pipe that's another common area for uh, air to leak and it looks like it's holding pressure I do hear a little bit but I'm sure uh, that's not a big deal or at least I hope so. It's not. Okay, and, uh, so I, I have the BRV replaced on the passenger side, and I do want to also point out another thing you should check is the uh, variable uh, geometry uh, linkage. Uh, VTG make sure that it uh, moves freely as you, as you can s let me adjust the light here you can see here I'm moving it up and down and you probably want to lubricate the linkage as well down here and up, up on top make sure that uh, it's not corroded and uh, frozen as you could see there let me focus let's see come on focus let me Okay, there we go. That's better. So yeah. So again, check this one, both side, passenger side pushes up, driver side uh, you pull down. You can see the actuator there rotating, and this side is fine. So you want to make sure that's that's moving okay. So here's the uh, driver side. Driver side you pull down. Let's see. Uh, this one's a little hard to get to. Let's see. I don't have enough uh, clearance with this camera in my way as well. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I can hear it and I feel it. Too bad. Uh, sorry, <laughs> my hand's blocking it, but that's the only way I can get it to to actuate. It's a little. It is under a little bit of uh, tension. So I put everything back, took, took a quick uh, test drive and uh, it's running good. Uh, though even with the uh, boost valve leaking, uh, I didn't really have any uh, major symptoms. Uh, I didn't get any check engine light or, and I was uh, boosting uh, peak at the standard mode of 15 PSI and on sport mode uh, 17. Uh, I do have a tune, but again, uh, I uh, didn't really notice a uh, problem uh, 
while it was leaking but I'm glad it's fixed and uh, so please uh, like and subscribe and uh, I want to keep making more of these uh, repair uh, uh, mod video on my uh, 997 Turbo uh, next I probably want to add a short shifter and uh, exhaust and uh, I did get a illuminated uh, door sill so I'm going to be installing that next as well alright thanks bye